Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Oh boy, here we go. Captain America Civil War delivers on almost impossible expectations and provides one of the most purely entertaining comic book movies of all time. Yes, it's all been leading to this. It's fun, it's engaging, it's intriguing, and it contains a huge amount of compelling characters who you have gotten to know over the course of one or several previous films, along with some new ones, who each have unique personalities and perspectives and powers and motives, all propelling the plot forward with their actions, which are easy to track and make perfect logical sense. All of this is intertwined with some of the most thrilling comic book action sequences ever put on film. I'll put it like this. We may be too spoiled by Marvel at this point to realize that it's not supposed to be this good. A film stuffed with delightful characters and plot development and exciting action that sacrifices nothing to get there, not plot coherence or relevance, or pacing, it all just works. Even at over two and a half hours, this is a movie as precisely constructed as a Swiss watch, but with the size of the Big Ben clock tower. Captain America is therefore a towering achievement and something of a miracle of a movie. That's it for the capsule review. Let's get in depth. To be honest, I'm surprised that I was able to get through the capsule review without devolving into a bunch of slobbering animal noises. To walk out of this film and see the audience reaction in the lobby, this mass of people who were simultaneously exhausted and exhilarated and thrilled, that is the look of a crowd that is surprised at how thoroughly their expectations were met. Because they're really high at this point. Massive amounts of money and time have been spent building up audience goodwill through multiple movies with these characters. We love these people. We don't want to see them fight, but a fight is unavoidable. Not because of some silly, trumped-up misunderstanding, although there is definitely a little bit of that going on, but because of the fundamental differences of the two main heroes, Iron Man and Captain America. Iron Man is a man with major issues. Guilt issues, daddy issues, philandering issues, but mostly guilt issues. Captain America, as played by Chris Evans, Boy, does he own this part in the same way that Downey owns his. And in a way, that has been the greater challenge because good old Cap has always been sort of square and boring. But over the course of his five major film appearances, he has made goodness compelling, admirable, heck, even sexy. There is a scene here at a specific shot, here it is, that will give every woman in the audience a massive lady boner, guaranteed. But beyond his sex appeal, Captain America is my favorite of the recent Marvel superheroes because he is a hero in the very sense of the word. He always does the right thing. Always. He is just so good, you know? You just can't help but root for him. And here he gets himself into a moral quandary that actually makes sense. I think one of the flaws of Marvel movies is that we haven't gotten a villain as interesting as Loki in a real long time. Now, this time around, that's less of a flaw than in other Marvel films because there's really not room for a super interesting villain here. Sure, there's a bad guy played by Daniel Bruhl and he sets certain things in motion, but the most fascinating conflict in the film is actually between the heroes themselves. And that is certainly enough. This movie has a lot to say about vengeance, vigilante justice, and collateral damage. The one villain of the piece actually shares an ideology with some of the main heroes, and the conflict that starts this civil war, and especially the revelations that propel its final act, are so well constructed that the fight between characters that you love, and who actually love each other as they're fighting, is as painful to watch as it is exciting. About midway through this very, very long film, I thought to myself, Hey, wow, this is a really gripping and intense and thoughtful film that's moving and it's focused and direct and exciting. But at that point, I was only experiencing the meat and potatoes of this massive cinematic buffet. And by itself, that was a satisfying meal, but the filmmakers hadn't even yet started doling out the candy for dessert. It's around that point that Spider-Man shows up and then Ant-Man, and then a movie that was already fun turns into sheer bliss. 
There is a fight scene at an airport with all of the superheroes working out their issues, which is so well shot, so clear, with each character getting a moment or two to shine, with each person's goal in the fight clearly defined. It has laughs, it has OMG moments, and my boy Ant-Man absolutely steals the show. I could go on and on about the action sequences, which are numerous and crazy, but with the limited time I have left, I just want to leave you with a simple list of the characters that are done well, done right, no, done perfectly, to give you an idea of the sheer insanity provided here. Captain America, no perfect. Iron Man, fascinating. The Winter Soldier plays a major role. Black Widow kicks so much ass, you'll be lobbying for her to get her own movie. Falcon's great, War Machine's great, Hawkeye's great, freaking Ant-Man, Scarlet Witch and the Vision get some good material to chew on, Spider- Spider-Man's in this movie, and he's amazing, and so is Black Panther, who gets a great introduction, and I thought to myself after this film that it's such a miracle that there are so many great characters that don't just get a quick cameo, but are actually germane to the plot, have a moment to shine that actually doesn't slow the plot down, but moves it along at a breakneck pace. I'll say it again, it's a miracle, and I want to see this movie again immediately. It didn't have to be this good to be a success, but Captain America Civil War is now my favorite Marvel movie to date, period. And I'm just talking about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. If you want to hear my thoughts on the X-Men franchise, I've recorded a ranking episode where I rank all of the X-Men films from worst to best. You can look for that on my channel. Captain America Civil War lives up to the considerable amount of hype. It makes Avengers Age of Ultron better by association. It gives you everything you wanted and a few things you didn't even think to ask for. It's thrilling, heartbreaking, exhausting, and thoroughly entertaining. Extra large bag of popcorn. The summer movie season has officially begun with this film and I pity the fools who have to follow this act. What's coming out next week? Huh. Good luck topping this, money monster. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter, at Movies That Pop. And click the icon right down there to visit our channel. You'll be able to view all of our other videos, and more importantly, click subscribe while you're there, so you can keep up with all the latest episodes, and so we can keep doing what we do. In the meantime, leave your comments on Captain America below, and click the thumbs up if you like what you heard. Thanks for watching, I'm the Colonel, and I'm with you to the end of the line.